Moving on to the uh, eighth race, though, not the final. Second last at Sir Happy Valley, 16.50. Again, Class 3. The field headed by Naboo Star. Zach Purton right in for David Hay. Stife performance uh, from Barrier 12. Good run behind Silver Express last time out. Encanto prepared. Well, wonderful season. He's had four wins already from his 10 starts this campaign. Winston's Lads a winner this season as well, but that was 1,200. Up to 16.50 here. Smooth, this should roll forward from Barrier number 8. We've got Telecom Fighters up from the 14 to the 16.50. Gallon Crown, we're speaking of good seasons. He's won his last three. And uh, Right Honourable also up in class as a Gallant Crown in after a last start winner. He'd been behind Gallant Crown on his two previous starts. Again, no horses on the road here, Mark, so straight into the speed map. Smoothies likes to go forward and he should get a pretty easy lead here. Good to slow. Telecom Fighters in behind him. Total power. Gallant Crown with a possibility of three in a row from a one-out, one-back spot. Talenti lightly raced on the rail. Start performance trap wide from barrier 12. Winston's lad, he's up in distance to the 1650. Swift Spirit, a booster and the Hulk towards the back with Right Honourable who looped the field from their pool to win last time and Encanto prepared on the rail. Here is Encanto prepared. He's only a little horse compared to uh, Encanto prepared. He's always fired up in the mornings. You can see there's no exception here. He uh, wants to go faster, but look, he's held together nicely as he comes down and as Andrew said, he's had a great season. Uh, Talente, I thought it was a lot better run from him last time. That's in 137 closest to us. He's had a little jump out here with a stable mate, Tasha Delic, and he goes nice. He just came through the inside there, so he's been uh, well prepared leading into um, Wednesday night. And Gallant Crown, uh, look, his last three wins have all been pretty good. A uh, bit right honourable last time, and he didn't come out and won. So the form has been good, and uh, 400 metres for him, and uh, he's going nicely. We'll hear from Karis Teaton very shortly, talking about uh, Gallant Crown. We'll start off with N Naboo's star, though, Mark, and also Total Power. So sort of opposite ends of the handicap uh, here, running fifth and sixth, respectively. Yeah, happy to wait for Total Power to get back to Class 4, Andrew. But Naboo star, this was his first start for David Hayes. It was beaten one and three quarters behind Farshad. Pretty strong field it was too, Paul. And you'd expect him to have come on for that run. Zach gets aboard and he'll be running on at the end again. Yeah, so he's in definitely for me, Naboo star. I think second start for the new stable looks good. That was the night Zach rode five as well. He was running second there on Savaquin. Farshad denied him that, uh, that sixth time. We'll move on to Encanto prepared. Um, we've said it, Paul. What a great season he's had. He's really found his mark now. It took him a little while to get going, but now he's, uh, he's won four times this campaign. Yep, and uh, look, he's going really well, as we said. And look, the only thing, little thing I had with him is he's got, a, he's getting up in the weights a bit, and he's only a little horse. Now, saying that he has one with 131 on his back before in Class Four, it's just whether he can do it with 129 here in Class Three. Going to say that he can. Joe back on. Joe gets on so well with him. He's produced some absolute screamers on him. Might have to again from what we saw on the speed map, but. He's just going so well, and you can't leave him out. All right, speaking of getting on well with a horse, Karis Teaton and Gallic Crown fit that description as well. Here's Ed once more at track work. Karis, Gallant Crown, he's won his last three in a row. That's been in Class 4. You've been on board for the last two. Now that he steps up in class, can he keep that winning run going? Yeah, of course. He's, he's got a good form uh, uh, this season. He's, he's, all his run has been good. Um, he's actually improving into a really nice horse. Uh, I thought... The two winners I was on board uh, with a bit of heavy weight keep on increasing, he kept on getting better. Um, I think now going up class with less weight on his back, I think he can still be uh, competitive. Looking at when he won for a couple of starts ago, he looked a little bit keen. His racing manners improving as he gets more experience? Uh, yeah, I, I thought that day, well, he was not too keen because I had to bounce him out and, and got him across and it took a while for, for the leader to come in front of us. So he's actually a very gentle horse and you know, he, he actually, you could do whatever you want with him. Um, I think that's what makes him improve all the time. So there's still more to come from him then? Yeah, I would think so. You know, I think with, with, with time and age, he's gonna even get better, I think. When you look at the race as well too, there's a few others that you've had a bit to do with in it, like Encanto, Prepared, Smoothies, Telecom Fighters. Did you decide though to stick here with Gallant Crown? Yeah, of course, uh, you know, after I won on him, I was already booked to ride him. But yeah, it's looked like a little strong race for him. Uh, but I think, you know, he's, he's going to be competitive. Like I said, he's doing well, the horse. And still just a four-year-old as well, Karis, uh, saying there's still more to come. His first time now in class through. We'll see how he measures up against some very consistent performers. Uh, the Hulk is uh, where we'll head next, uh, Mark, to have a look him back at the trial. Speaking of consistent, he's actually been a little bit in and out. Super run behind Tempest Express, two starts back. He did cover ground, I suppose, behind uh, My Sugar last time. Yeah, he did in uh, both those starts. And just wonder if uh, it's flattened him uh, leading into that second race where he had to try and do it again. It was Nick would have been in this trial. Paul gets the visor off. I've got him in on a minor line. 
the further they went in this trial, the better he did look. But he's had two very tough runs in recent times. Yeah, he did have. He was lame in both legs after one of them as well. So he's definitely had some issues. The source. I, I was just going to watch him uh, with those issues. Okay, who are we looking at then, Paul? Gallant Crown for the uh, the four timer. Yeah, I think he can. He's. I think he can come up in the bottom of class three and with the lightest weight and, and win this race. So. He's on top. Naboo stars at the other end of the scale, but uh, from barrier six, can see him running into it. Talente, I've got him in there as well. His double figure price. He's only had the two starts, but he improved a lot from start uh, one to start two. And in Canada prepared, he's so consistent. 11, 1, 4, and 3. It's the horse that could be giving pony rides between races, but he's a much better race horse, and that's number three in Kento prepared. Big weight again, but as Paul said, he's carried 131 pounds. Yes, it was in class four. Joe, wonderful record on him. To beat number 11, Gallant Crown, low flying at the moment. One Naboo star and five the Hulk. I'll keep him safe. Three, 11, one and five. Got some of those principles in as well, but I thought star performance of his last start effort behind Silver Express. He does have barrier 12, which w w looks tricky, but if Neil Callan can slot him in, get some cover, I think he might be getting back to his best. All right, that's uh, race number eight, which means we've got one more race uh, to go. Race number nine, plus all the best bets. That comes up next.